breaking news. And first up at 6 o'clock, we are following breaking news in the ballot debacle in Bridgeport. This afternoon, a judge ruled the state's biggest city needs to hold a new Democratic primary. Good evening, and thanks for joining us tonight at 6. I'm Erin Connolly. And I'm Mark Zinni. This is all unfolding right now, less than one week to go before Election Day. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Hector Molina just spoke with mayoral candidate John Gomes, who challenged the results of the primary. Hector is live right now in Bridgeport tonight. Hector. Well, Mark, Gomes filed a lawsuit seeking a new primary back in September, and today the judge granted him his wish. This, he told us this decision reemphasizes the fact that he won that primary back on September 12th. Now, the original results showed that Joe Ganim won by 251 votes out of the 8,173 that were cast. In a 37-page report, Judge William Clark says the mishandling of ballots was so significant that the court is unable to call the results legitimate. Now, this comes after two Ganem supporters were caught on video mishandling ballots at the drop box. Gomes says today's decision helps restore voter integrity and trust in the democratic process in what he says is a historic day for Bridgeport. We emphasize the, the fact that um, the judge agrees with us, the court agrees with us. We won on, November tw I mean, uh, on September 12th, and we're going to... Um, play that game again and we're going to become victorious on November 7th. Now, within the last 30 minutes, we received a statement from Mayor Ganim that's saying that he calls this decision substantial and he will wait to see if the lawyers decide to appeal this decision. He went on to say in his statement, quote, what hasn't changed and what's really important is this November 7th, Tuesday in the city of Bridgeport is election day. I'm the endorsed Democratic candidate on the top line and I'm asking everyone to come out and vote in the election. So for election day, Day. Gomes and Ganim's names will both be on the ballots, but Gomes' attorney says that if he wins on Election Day, that this new primary won't be needed. That's the latest here in Bridgeport tonight. Hector Molina, Channel 3, Eyewitness News.